This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Dodge Ram 2500. That's a three-quarter ton quad cab, full four doors. Uh, it's a Cummins turbo diesel, 5.9 liter, uh, four-wheel drive with an SLT package. Uh, that's cloth. It uh, has 231,000 miles, long bed. Uh, got dings and nicks and stuff pretty much all over the place but it runs like brand new it has a really good set of high rubber tires on it it's being sold on a salvage title due to theft if you watch that little animated video in the middle of our ad you'll understand how you have a salvage title and not be wrecked or flooded or uh, burnt this is uh, theft due to uh, or salvage due to theft um, it's sort of an insurance thing it reduces their liability when they sell it after it's been recovered stolen Anyhow, uh, what have they done here? First of all, they liked Rhino Liner because the uh, rocker panels, they sprayed with Rhino Liner. The bottom, it's not paint, it's Rhino Liner. And the bed obviously had some old Rhino Liner in it too. Um, let's walk around real quick. I have it running because it's about 105 degrees and there's about 80% humidity and the air blows ice cold and I'm going to use it in a second. <laughs> This, it's not a it's not a dream vehicle uh, uh, cosmetically there's some peeling paint chips it's just a uh, really good running truck but it's not something you're buying because it looks good because uh, that's what you're trying to do you're gonna be really irritated uh, but I don't want you irritated with me so I'm gonna try to show you everything I can possibly show little thing here lots of little high-speed rock chips Like I said, it runs great. Uh, turbo turbos. See the... They probably put that stuff on when it was brand new and after a bunch of car washes it's starting to wear off. So I guess you could probably recode it if you wanted to. Um, I don't know. The bed, of course, because of the truck, has probably push this down with a hammer and put some uh, bed rail covers on it and make it look like 900% better. As you can see, you've got some dents in here. I picture this being more of a foreman's truck or a hell of a work truck. It's got some pretty industrial strength uh, steel uh, running boards. Bumper's in great shape. It's got a nice tow hitch. Then you got this uh, tailgate that's just hammered. Looks like something real heavy rolled into it. There's a light bar. There's a, uh, uh, there used to be, obviously the car thieves uh, stole the uh, diesel fuel tank that is in here because that's a uh, auxiliary pump setup right there uh, for an extra tank. See, all you would really need is a tank and then hook it up to that and you'd have another tank if you wanted. Some dings here. Both sides of the beds have a bunch of little dings, especially on the top of the bed. It's interesting because the rest of the truck doesn't really have a whole lot of dings except uh, the bed sides. There's a brand new spare. That looks good. And you see how it's kind of worn off over time. I think enough car wash brushes have hit that to kind of knock off. See, it's kind of that's the rough stuff, and then there's where it's kind of worn off. I don't know that it's worth doing anything about, really. I'll open up the hood, show you underneath the hood. There's your original fenders. All the stickers where they're supposed to be. None of the bolts have been off. Looks great. You got a little net in front of here. That tells you that he's been a high-speed guy. He's done a lot of interstate driving when they put these things on. 
keep the bugs off the condenser. We didn't even have to change the batteries out in this thing. Usually you have to put new batteries in them, but ran just fine. Back seat looks brand new. Carpet looks good. This thing's issues are all cosmetic with the paint and the door dings, I can tell you that. There's your VIN on the door. I see a little hole right here on, over the door handle on the driver door. We've got power seats. Let's make sure that they work. Forward, back. Let's see. I'm not seeing the up and down. I don't know what that's for though. I'm not really sure. Right now all I have is up and back. And then you've got the handle for the back, seat back. So, I'm going to have my guy look at it and see what those uh, adjusters are for. See if we can do anything about it. But uh, the way it's sitting, it's in a good driving position, the seat cushion. And uh, the seat does slide back and forth, and the back does go up and back, so I don't really think that's an issue. I can tell you the air conditioning works great, thank God. Let's see if the radio works. Caused by your sort Radio works, got a CD and cassette. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of stain here and there. Those aren't holes though. Let's see, we got this. Alright, let's see. Miles per gallon, 17.7. That seems extraordinarily good. I wonder how accurate that is. All right, cruise on and off. There's your miles, 231,578. You do have a tilt that works. When they stole it, they damaged the uh, column, so they broke the plastic piece off. So if you want a piece of plastic, these things are like 50 bucks if you want the bottom half, but I don't think that this is something you need to spend that kind of money on, in my opinion. There's your toe on and off. There you go. Let me uh, put it in neutral. And let's go to four low. We're in four wheel drive right there. Let me put it into drive. Oh yeah, that's a lot of torque. Perfect. Let me put it into, I had to turn the air down there. It's blowing too hard and loud. That's reverse, we're good. Put it in neutral. Let's put in the, that's too high. Now we're in four high. There's four. We'll drive. Put it in drive. Yes, and we could drive at speed in that. Put it in reverse. Perfect. All right. This thing really drives nice. Golly. Put it in two wheel high. Put it in drive and go for a drive. Wow. Uh, mechanically, this thing is outstanding, and the air is the best part. Um, if you're coming to Tucson to drive it home, you have to know that you're going to have to uh, have uh, have us inspect it to drive it home. You need to have at least a restored salvage title on a vehicle. Um, right now, it's got a salvage title. Uh, we take it to the uh, police down in uh, level three inspections. They do a level three inspection. We take the uh, level three inspection they do and the salvage title to motor vehicles and we get what's called the restored salvage title. At that point, we can give you temporary place to drive home on. Uh, we, you can get it insured, etc. cetera. Uh, without it, you can't get it insured or drive it. So that's critical if you're going to come here and drive it home. And that's $200. We take it to motor vehicles the next day. You don't have to deal with all the hassle. And trust me, it's the best money you'll ever spend. 50 goes to the state, 150 goes to us. The reason for that is sometimes we go at six in the morning when they're all day. Sometimes we go at six in the morning and we're, we're gone in 15 minutes. Um, it kind of depends on how many donuts that day, 
they're going to have and if they want to work hard or not. And uh, sometimes it's really easy and sometimes it's not really easy. Sometimes it's really annoying. So that's that. So you pay $200 if you for, that's, that's for sure. And a $250 dock fee, um, that's also for sure if you come here and drive it home. Uh, then you'll also pay taxes. 2% Tucson tax plus whatever your state tax is. If your state tax is zero like Oregon's, you're just going to pay a 2% Tucson city sales tax and the $250 dock fee and the $200 restore to the title. If your state is 7%, you're going to pay a total of 9% tax, a $250 dock fee and a $200 fee to restore the title. Um, if you pay by wire and ship, all you have to pay is the agreed upon price period. If it's, you know, $2 million, you're going to pay $2 million. All right. <laughs> if, uh, if you want us to restore the title, which I still strongly advise, uh, but you don't have to, um, just add $200 to that. So you owe us $2 million and $200. Okay. Um, if you're not going to have us restore it, please make sure you get in touch with your local motor vehicles and they tell you that it's okay to bring an Arizona theft recovered vehicle on a salvage title, on an Arizona salvage title with a bill of sale. And that's it because we can give you no more documentation than that. Um, there's some states that get really weird about like especially New York and Illinois and Connecticut uh, they want like receipts for what was replaced they say it's stolen well then what was stolen well the car and then they want receipts and there are no receipts because nothing was missing and nothing was damaged it's just a big weird bureaucratic circle that they can't do the mental gymnastics to get through let me jump on it real quick for you This thing runs great. I mean, absolutely smooth, no vibrations, perfect shifting, ice cold air, great tires. I would take it to Maine right now. So anyway, please check it out. Please make sure that you know, you, you listen to the video and you watch the pictures and the whole bit. Um, get a deposit in. If we haven't agreed upon price, we still don't have a deal until we have a deposit. If someone comes in you know, after you and there's no deposit and they want to put a deposit down or pay for it in full, then they can have the truck. That's the way it works. Even on eBay, I don't care. Uh, that's just the way it's going to happen. All right? Uh, please have a good week, and thanks for watching this. And if this isn't the truck, please look at our other inventory at our website, and uh, perhaps we'll have something else for you. Thank you.